Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. This is episode 20 of Pokemon Coliseum. We're at the Battle Tower. Let's go ahead and get into it. Ugh, Master Dakum will reprimand me. Yep, just got done beating number one. Let's go ahead and go to number two. Hmm. Turo took a fall, did he? I could never count on that guy. Well, I'll just think of it as there being more for me to enjoy. Come on. And me being excited, I didn't even think about healing my Pokemon. So, <laughs> we might be in trouble. Hunter Drovac. Drovic. Excuse me, Swinub. That is a, uh, a nice ground type, I think. And then a ball toy. A psychic rock type. We'll see if uh, if Baltoy is a rock type. Mantine might be in trouble, but we'll see. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and focus up on the Baltoy. In fact, I think that might be the play. Because if it is psychic, this bite will hurt really bad. Yep. Good call. It would have been even better if it was a one-hit KO, but I'm satisfied with it. Alright, here we go. 111 experience. Larvatar. I would really love it if this was a shadow type. It's not, though. Okay, special defense rose. Okay, Larvatar is not. Uh, but is it dangerous? That's the question. Swinub just did a defensive move. I think we should go ahead and go after the Larvatar. I think that's the play. Eh. Shadow Rush should be able to knock it out, no problem. We'll see. Hey, alright, I called it right. Awesome. So, what we've been doing is we're trying, we have the Relic Stone. Uh, we, we're learning how to purify Pokemon. Uh oh, Powder Snow. That's dangerous. I think it gets Mantine, maybe. Oh, not that bad. Not too bad, that's good. Really, really would have really hurt uh, Swablu. Luckily, we don't have her out. Uh, so, we're trying to learn how to purify our Pokemon. We're, we're doing okay. We got this special urgent email from Dirt King saying, hey, we were invaded by these bad guys led by uh, the same thugs that Mirror B had and no big deal. We're here and we're kicking ass. Now hopefully after this fight I remember to super potion my Pokemon. Ah! Drovic gave us 592 Poke Dollars. Hell yeah. I'm going to get reprimanded too! Hell yeah you will. Okay, super potion. Spam. And... Bam. Uh-oh. Hyper mode, no healies. Ah, well. It'll be fine. <laughs> Very arrogant words, I know. Alright, number three. Here we go. What's going on? Both Turo and Drovic? went down that's weak I'm not going down easily going down down <laughs> it <Riddle> it around <laughs> oh, baby we're going down swinging Kimmet <laughs> okay Ryder Kimmet we've got a, a rock type a ground type Geodude and we've got just a regular ground type in Sandshrew uh, I really wish Mantine knew just honestly any water move it did learn supersonic which is great I guess we'll go ahead and focus up on the uh, sand shrew even though I probably should have taken the geodude out purely because of rock type moves because as I've said before rock type moves super effective against flying everybody knows that and if you don't, you know, it's okay, we're all in this together. 
magnitude, ground type move. It'll hit Umbreon for a little bit, and it will not hit... Oh, killed his own Nummel. Hell yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That was a poor choice on your part, sweetie. Okay. Well, this being what it is, I'm going to go ahead and call Mantine so I can heal it after battle. I think it's the right play. Yeah, it won't be an immediate victory for me, but it almost was. That would have been nice. Magnitude 7. You know, I, whenever I was getting first acquainted to the magnitude attacks and all of the, uh, the, the, the different numbers, I always thought like it had special qualities. Like magnitude 6 would hit more than once or, you know, uh, magnitude 9 was a one-hit KO. It had special properties. Unfortunately, that's not the case. But, you know, it's just a damage thing. Which one hits harder? It's like a roulette thing. My version as a kid is a little bit more interesting in my opinion. I've got a little pooch whining. Here, Zelda. Yeah, I named my little dog Zelda. I know. I know. She's whining. She might have to go outside. I'm not quite sure. Just today, I'll back off easy. Okay. It's all right, Zelda. After I finish the episode, I'm going to have to either take her out or... She probably just wants to get picked up, I wonder. Uh, I'm going to reach down and grab my dog real quick, guys. Sorry, hold on. Here's Zelda. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Alright, she's happy. She just wanted some uh, attention. As we all do, it's it's pretty typical, right? Uh, I'm just gonna verify that I healed. I did. Wonderful. I hear you. I hear you. It's fine. All right. I'll give you a little bit of pets. Jesus. On to number four. Foo! That trio you've already defeated. If I liked them to food, they would only be hors d'oeuvres. Okay, that makes sense. The real battling begins now. Great, let's do it, man. Rider riding. Pineco and Baltoy. We're seeing a lot of repeat Pokemon in this, aren't we? I mean, it's not a bad deal. I mean, Pineco is pretty cool. It evolves into Ferretris. Uh, Baltoy is interesting. I think he evolves into Claydol. I mean, they're not bad Pokemon. I definitely want that Pineco out of here, though. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and get that Pineco out of here. Why, you ask? Hey, nice critical hit. Because it's a grass type. Uh, I don't want Mantine getting slapped up by any grass type moves. Houndour, dark fire type. Interesting. Uh-oh. Mantine's pissy. Psybeam. Please target Umbreon, that'd be great. It did not. <laughs> ah, well. We're still looking good. Hyper mode. Uh, we are going to... We're going to go ahead and get the ball toy out of here. I think that's the better choice. Houndour is a fire type. And that's not going to do very much to man time it's the right choice I think we're good I think we're really good settle down girl <laughs> she's uh, really wanting attention man I guess she's really itchy I might have to give her a bath later ooh graveler this is dangerous if that graveler self destructs that might be a problem that might really be a problem <laughs> the game had to give it a critical hit. Had to do it. Alright. Uh, ooh, do we focus on the Graveler or do we focus on the Houndour? Uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on the Graveler. I think that's the better choice. 
That's half its health. That's not bad. If we can get a good critical hit off this Shadow Rush, it'll be dead. Oh, well, we got a good critical hit. It just ain't dead. <laughs> and if it self-destructs, that's really going to be a problem. Bite isn't going to be that bad. Yeah, like I said. Dark moves on Dark-type Pokemon aren't that effective. Graveler flinched. That's perfect. Cool. We're going to go ahead and assume that that's going to kill the... No, we're not going to assume nothing. We're going to go ahead and double down and make sure that Graveler eats it. Perfect. I like being, uh, <laughs> I like being relieved that we're not going to get self-destructed in the face, dude. Not all about the, I'm not all about the self-destruction crap. Unless it's on YouTube for everybody to see, <laughs> you know what I mean? Good, that critical hit knocked out that hound hour. Couldn't have asked for a last move. Okay, so Umbreon got hit some. Please, no! <laughs> it's, it's already happened, man. 370 poke dollars it's already happened just live with it the real battles begin after me <laughs> you just said that they begin here don't don't change your story just because you lost man uh oh uh do we continue on to the next battle or do we swap mantine out uh, let's go ahead and continue on to the next battle. I think that's the play right now. Wow, you've come a long, long way from home. You should be proud of yourselves. But prepare for a thrashing. I never miss targets once I get them in my sights. I like your blue hair. <laughs> I really like your hair. I'm a sucker for short hair like that. Doesn't have to be weirdly, not weirdly, doesn't have to be differently colored. A barbacoa and a tram pinch. Okay, a ground bug, right? Or is it just a bug? I'm not quite sure. And then barbacoa being just a water type. Uh, four Pokemon. What kind of Pokemon are you? Doopy doopy doop doop. <laughs> Let's go and take out that tram pinch, shall we? All right, didn't quite do half health, but better than nothing. Critical hit, hell yeah, man time. We gotta be careful, because that continual loop of shadow rushes is gonna wear man time down. Maybe not quickly, but hey, another tram pinch, go figure. Sandstorm, That's, that could be dangerous. That certainly could be dangerous if the battle lasts very long. Uh, yeah, Mantine's already gone down to the yellow, so if there was a freak critical hit, Mantine would already be dead. Or is going to die. Uh, I, I think we need to go ahead and get the Barbacoa, dude. Just because it used a ground type move, that's a little scary for me. It's definitely not the most formidable of in between Trampinch and Barbacoa, but it, it, it used a move that I'm not okay with. So we need to go ahead and get it out of here ASAP. I do love Barbacoa, don't get me wrong. I love that it evolves into Wish Cash, because Wish Cash is one of my favorite Pokemon. It's not, uh-oh. All right, so that's definitely targeting Umbreon. Uh, Umbreon should be able to take it like a champ, though. Man time's getting really low. Uh, what to do, what to do. I think we need to go ahead and get rid of that little leap. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get rid of the little leap. And hopefully... Okay, that didn't do much. Because, yeah, the leap should be a water rock type. Like all most other fossil Pokemon. Critical hit didn't do much. But one more round of hitting it should be good to go. In grain. Cool. That's a grass type move. I think that replenishes health. I don't think I'm entirely sure, but I think that's what it is. The 
sandstorm rages. Okay. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Took some more health. So... Alright, here's the thing. We are going to go ahead and... Toxic the Lilith. And we're going to search for a better stand-in. If we do Swablu... Yeah, we're doing Swablu. Because it's a flying type and we don't have to worry about the dig killing us. We couldn't put in Flaffy because Flaffy would have been weak. Uh, Mischievous probably would have been fine, but no biggie. In retrospect, I think biting the Tram Pinch probably would have been a better move. But this poison will offset the ingrain. That's a ghost type move. And that's a dig. Cool. So he's digging to attack Umbreon again. Okay. Well, either way, the Leaf is going to get targeted, and it should be dead, hopefully. We shall see. Yep, got some health back, but it loses it because of the poison, exactly as I planned it. Okay, so, we are going to faint attack. And, ooh, sing. But it's in hyper mode, we're just going to go ahead and shadow rush. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, not dead, not yet. But you will be. Maybe. Cool, super dead. Like it, love it, gotta have it. I love it whenever it's trying to keep balance. <laughs> it does the... Aw, oh, super cute. Please don't die, Umbreon. Okay, good, you didn't die, thank you. <laughs> uh, here's a trick too, man. Oh good, the sandstorm is finally gone. That makes me feel a little better. Swab lose in hyper mode. Uh, was Mantine still in hyper mode? Yeah, it probably was, wasn't it? That means I can't heal it out of battle. That's not good. Uh, we are going to bite the Tram Pinch. And call the Swab Blue. We're going to do that. It'll, it'll pad out the fight for another turn, but so be it. Maybe even two turns, depending upon if the Tram Pinch digs again or not. But if it does dig, it'll use Sandstorm. Not a, not a terrible move on its part, but it's not really going to save it. It is going to get Umbreon dangerously close to dying low. Just in case it does have an out and out hit move, I need to go ahead and switch out Umbreon. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we already established that Quillfish is weak to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put out Mantine just to call it. Uh, Tram Pinch's Arena Trap prevents Umbreon from being switched out. Are you kidding me? Alright. All right, we're gonna go ahead and run with that. We're gonna go ahead and faint attack. And then Swablu, how do you do? <laughs> we have to Shadow Rush. Please die. Yay, it died. Super awesome. Cool, 99 experience points. 99 experience points, but a level ain't one. Uh, my target got away. Yeah. 608 Poke Dollars. Going to buy all the Poke Sushi. <laughs> and the Poke Sodas. The next time we meet, I really won't let you escape. <sighs> awesome. Alright guys, I'm Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. Thank you very much for watching episode 20 of the Pokemon Coliseum Nuzlocke. Come on back. We're going to go ahead and start the recording for episode 21. And hopefully we'll get past three battles an episode. <laughs> so strap in, boys and girls. Here we go. I'll see you next time on Holtec Gaming. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.